Michael, eh? You look so good, honey. Oh yeah, and you too. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Don't tell me this is done now. Yes, mom. Baby, make the woman you've been speaking with on phone for over a year now. Oh, the pleasure is all. You're welcome. How are you? <laughs> mom, you're not owning me. I'll I'm be jealous. Holding later, honey. <laughs> See, a lizard in America can never become an alligator in Nigeria. Wallahi, you think because you open the door in overseas, you can't try for Nigeria? Ah, ah. <laughs> Wallahi, this is not Nigeria. Oh, wow. Retired General Daniel Single Kiri. And Dad, yeah. meet your son in law, the man you've always wanted to meet. I see. <laughs> he wouldn't be needing any introduction. That's the lucky man I've been talking with on the phone. Thank you very much, sir. Ah, come on, welcome. Thank you, sir. That's good. Yes, sir. Son, welcome, my son. Thank you, sir. Um, honey, isn't our son-in-law handsome? Yes, he's as handsome as the smile on the face of a, a victorious platoon commander. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Ah! You trust that our daughter here mm -hmm. always go for the best? Yes. yes. I am sure this is going to be the wedding between Miss Beauty and Mr. Chami. Oh yeah, you can yeah. say that again, Mom. Yeah, baby. Baby, welcome to my family. Oh, once again, it's my pleasure to be here. Lizzie. Yes, Dad. Come on, take him upstairs. The fresh enough. He deserves to be treated as a prince in the palace, mm -hmm. not as a buffalo soldier in the barracks. Yes, General. But Dad. You just have to come to reality that you have been retired for over 15 years. And the military terms must retire too, you know. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can take the soldier out of the barracks, but you can never take the barracks out of the soldier. A soldier, a general is a general. <laughs> come on, son. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, that's good. Come on, take him out. All right, guys. Okay, thank you, sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. 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 Happy is the word. I am so happy. Our daughter made a very good choice. Oh, yes. Welcome home, my love. Uh, it's so good to be here, you know. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm glad that I made it down here. Yes, I'm happy too. Oh, baby, we have to remain here till after the wedding in two weeks' time. But I thought we agreed that. I'm going to spend just two nights here and then I move back to the hotel. So what you're trying to say is that my father's house is not big enough for you, it's not comfortable. No, I, I know, I know. I never said that, okay? But we had an agreement and an agreement is an agreement, okay? 
Thank you, whatever. You know your wish is my command. Ah, I thought you love you so much. <laughs> Sweetheart, <laughs> forever is an understatement. I will love you till life and death. Let's get it. Mom, why are you crying? Mom? You told me we are coming to Grandpa's house. Is this not the right place? My daughter. This is the right place. <laughs> but I'm afraid. Afraid? I'm afraid. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, oh Lord, anything that is making my mommy afraid, Father, oh Lord, let her not be afraid in Jesus' name. Donald, I hope you're enjoying the meal. Oh, great, Mom. Never had it better. Thank you very much. <laughs> My mom got her cookbook from heaven. Now I know where you got your cookies goes from. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Lunard, you know, Father called in the morning. Let's get my mind to ask him when they'll be coming home for their marriage. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, my parents should be arriving in a few days to the wedding. Um, Dad, Donald will be checking in at the hotel tomorrow. What for? Which hotel is more comfortable and secure than the fortress of the general? Son, you will stay here where you are. Security is guaranteed. Right? Yes, yeah, 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 thank you very much. Sir. Eat. You're right. <laughs> um, my parents, my parents, are they going to um, come here when we're still going to the village for the traditional marriage, right? Are they still going to come? Come on. You do not expect a general of my caliber to bow to such traditional mumbo jumbo. So you don't, you don't have to. Especially when it concerns the marriage of my daughter. So everything happens here. At my will. <laughs> Your father has not changed. He still flaunts his military stature in whatever he does. We've planned both the traditional and the white wedding here in this town. That's okay. That, that saves us uh, the stress of traveling. Um, you know, to and fro to the village and then back. Um, thank you very much, Jenna. Honey? Okay, sir. Hope ours isn't going to be a military wedding. Just sir. Sanusi, what is it? Um, sorry for the interruption, Oga. Um, Oga, there is a woman and a small daughter. Crying, the beginner crying <laughs> outside the gate. Kumade, as a better person, when I went to ask, I said, Madam, what thing be the problem? What is it? no see. Yes, Oga. Straight to the point. Yeah, wow. 
You understand? You say, oh God, the woman is saying, I want to see general. You want to see general? I say, yeah. Now you want to see Oga? You want to see general? Ha! I say, I go, come tell me, Oga. Did you ask her who she is? Yeah. Did you ask her who she is, Sanusi? Uh, honey, uh, I think it could be one of these corporate beggars. You know, this uh, economic recession and all that. So, it could be one of them. Are you sure this is the right place? Jenny, yes, this is the right place. But like I told you earlier, I'm afraid. Oh, you have not told me why you're afraid. Like I told you earlier, I'm scared. This is the first time I'm bringing you here. I just pray it works. I pray it worked out. Hey, five, five babies. <laughs> um, Oga say make I give you this money, and come day I have added my phone number inside. Kingare, I understand. I, I don't want your money. I need to see him face to face. <laughs> face to face. You won't go see Oga face to face. We are looking. Me the chief security officer. Na give you money. Na add my phone number inside. Come on, Na call me. Fine, fine, babies. You won't go see Oga with Madame Pa. Madame na the inside, bro. No? Nah? Okay, no problem. Let's get there. Make we see. We are going inside. Let's go. Let's go. See Oga now. Nah. Let's go. Fine, fine, babies. Who's relying on Mom? Dad? I'm sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I regret my mistakes of the past. Please. Take me back into your home. For the sake of my... My daughter here, your granddaughter. Her name is Jenny. I remain General Danielson Okiri. Retired but not tired of the military in me, which disowned you eight years ago. My discipline is my arsenal that can never be penetrated by time or circumstances. Remove yourself and your bastard daughter from my home, from my house this moment. Mom, please. Please help me beg further. Please. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry! Go and find the father of your child and formally present him to me as your husband-to-be. 
I am not going to let you turn my house into the barracks of bastards. I have searched everywhere for him. But he's nowhere to be found. I have learned from my mistake. Please. Forgive me. I, I have had a very terrible experience living out there without the, the blessings of my parents. Forgive me. I have suffered as a single mother. Father, please have mercy. Have mercy. So, there's no cause to panic. Her body needs a lot of sleep to regain consciousness. Thank you, doctor. Also, sir, her body requires constant checkup for full restoration of her health. Well, that's all right. You are the doctor, aren't you? Uh, sir, uh, if I may ask, what really happened? Why, why is her body... Uh, blood pressure so high. Mm. She had an encounter with uh, my daughter, I mean my ex-daughter. A girl I disowned some eight years back. That's uh, it. I, I, I don't understand, sir. Uh, do you have another daughter apart from the one I know? Come on, doctor. You really want me to start discussing my family affairs here? Do you? Do you? Anyway. I disowned her. That's for good. There is no going back. Yes. I don't ever go back. Forward. Forward. No going back. Yes. Now, doctor. I want you to concentrate on this woman. She is my wife. You are my personal doctor, my personal physician, and you know we are close. My house is always open for you, 24 hours a day, right? So please, I beg you, take care of this woman, my wife. Her health is important to me. In fact, her health is more important then Somalia Peace Mission. Do I get it right? Did you hear me? Yes, sir. That's right. That face looks familiar. That girl is so exact in my memory. I have met her somewhere before. I just can't place my mind on a particular place I met her. Yes. Oh no. I just can't remember. Just can't remember nothing. I can't take a look at this. Are you okay? You never told me you had a sister. That's something I never wanted to remember again. That's something you never wanted to remember. 
and you did not mention it to me about a year of our courtship. You never mentioned it to me. Maybe just just take his seat so we can talk. Are you sit. Benita is my elder sister, and it is just the two of us. My father decided not to have another child since my mother bore us through cesarean session. He raised us with iron hands, with love, support, care, and everything. We never lacked anything. But unfortunately for Benny, she got pregnant in her final year while in secondary school. Daddy got so angry and disowned her. Families and friends waited in on the matter. But my father is renowned and never turning back on his decisions. Even though lives are thick. So you mean your father gets on that just because she she got pregnant? Honey, I've told you before. My father is a full blooded, no nonsense army general. So what do you think will happen when he finds out that you are already pregnant from me? Please. Do not mention this ever again. At least not even in this house. If he hears that, we are both dead. And that is why I want us to rush this marriage and return to the States. His face looks familiar. I have met him somewhere before. Could he be somebody I know? He seems to have met me before too. That look in his eyes is suspicious. I am sure I have seen that face before. Not just that face. His face rings a bell in my heart. I don't ever want to see you in or around this place ever again. This garrison is off limits to both you and your bastard of a daughter. Now get out, get lost, move. Father, please. Please, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Please. Forgive us, please. Please, yes. Forgive us. I see. So you want to see how brutal a general can be.
Wait for it. Useless girl, cross into this territory and you cross into a crossfire of counterattack. Sanusi! <laughs> yes, Oga! All correct, sir! If I see this kind of a thing again, you face the firing squad! All correct, Oga! Scatter your nyash! <laughs> a gunshot outside the gate. Is everything all right? Whenever a gunshot is heard within the territorial range of a war general, there is no cause for alarm. I am in charge. Oh, okay, fine now. Um, are you all right, ma'am? Um, she will... She needs a little more care. And uh, the family doctor will be coming to look in on her regularly. Okay, sir. Come on. Just take it, easy, okay? Just take it slow, man. Huh? Slow, man. She has suffered so much. Please show her some mess, okay? What you ask is impossible. Even if you don't want to allow her in, let's alleviate her suffering. She looks so helpless and fast running out of life. Go. Cool. I have never changed my decisions since I became a three-star general. Let her help herself by providing the father of her child. Honey, I'm a mother. No matter the rank of the military officer I'm married to. dangerous it is to climb me further than this. Leave me now.
Donatus and I were classmates and um, we were staying together in the same hostel before I left for the States. He's a private doctor, Dr. Donatus. The world is indeed a global character. With so many war fronts, where you do not make mistakes with your bullets. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Yeah, actually, I and Lizzie are getting married, and um, 
You know, we just came back from the States. Oh, 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 oh. So, so you are the, the luckiest man. No, 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 no. Dude. Oh, the oh, lucky dude. Well. <laughs> oh, what a day. The family continues. Yes. <laughs> After both of you have gone away from your barracks of friendship, you find yourself reuniting under the residential cantonment of General Danielson Okiri, retired. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, young man. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> right, Dad. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good to see you, man. So good, you know. Wow. All right. Doctor, proceed. Move. I saw it too, but I'm not sure. I'm still confused. But what? Thank God you're here. So why are you confused? Oh, I, look, look. I, I, I was, can we just go back inside? Baby? Let's go inside before they suspect something. All right? All is not well. Yes, all is not well, but you should understand that the walls have ears. Everything is listening. Come on, let's go inside. Send out a platoon. Recognizance mission. That's what they reckon. They come back to give a report. That is, they break down what they found behind the enemy line. So, break it down for the general. Oh, the situation that troubles our mind should be ameliorated as quick as possible. Or better still, you can still ask her what she wants. So we know where to start. What she wants is not an option here. So you better suggest something else. I'm not going to admit that girl back into my house unless she provides a father of that her child. I'm not going to relax. Garrison discipline at this point. Even when your life, your wife's life is at stake here. So, court martial continues unabated. I'm not going to pardon her. Pardoning her is out of the question. Then, in that case, I will suggest you you make use of the carrot and stick formula, general sir. <laughs> All right, fall out. Gate. All correct, sir. Let's go, let's go, Jenny, let's go. this house. She will help you wash all the cars, sweep the compound, 
and generally assist you in every way possible in your chores. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. All correct, sir. <laughs> but, Oga, <laughs> you know, see, I will be a tough person. You know? Will she also be sleeping in my room? Um, I mean, um, will she be my bedroom assistant? Sanusi? Yes, Oga! <laughs> One leg. Up! <sighs> Go on! Sorry, sir! Yes, Oga! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, sorry. She will be sleeping. There. At the gatehouse. No. And you must ensure that she remains a maid and nothing but a maid. Honey. Sanusi! Hey, yes, Oga! Yes, Oga! Up! Hey, Laila! <laughs> Sorry, oh, please. Adwaya. <laughs> yeah, wow. Thank you, Mr. No buts. We have an agreement, don't we? Sanusi! Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, Oga. Take over. Yes, sir. Oh, all right, sir. <clears throat> you see, I will make sure I do all my jobs. Very well on her. <laughs> you wa kumade what Oga has done to get us. Must remain. Chosa. All correct, sir. The gate. Correct, Oga. Take over. Tapia. Tapia, I can tell How about my job, Grandpa? You will be the two I see to your mother maid. Is that understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? <laughs> Have you seen it? I am very sure she's the one. But how long do I approach this matter now? For how long will I keep this secret away from the same family that entrusted me with their lives? I am trapped between the devil and the Red Sea. And the worst of it all is that Donald is not even ready to let anything out about this matter. No. No. I must do something before it's too late. I must do something. I can't afford to keep this secret now that I have the chance to let it out. Why haven't I been able to, to rest or even to sleep ever since I set my eyes on that girl? I hope what I am feeling don't turn out to be true. Fast. 
These feelings just have to go from wherever it came from. I just have to try. Try so hard to subdue it. Ahem. Listen and listen very carefully. Rules number one. No flower must be taller than the other. Okay, all of them must be age mate, the same age mate. Equal. I understand? I understand. <laughs> you see, now because I've a tough person, you know, I know what I'm saying. Why you follow me? Now, what is this? I said, what thing be this? Spike. I said, what thing be this? It's Spike. Can't share your number over. It will lie. No sense at all. No sense. See, this one is called uh, was. What do I call him? I say was. What do I say was? Was. 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 Now you're talking. You are, you are going to make sure that you killing the whole uh, motto. See, Madame Car, the Oga, the, everybody for this compound. Killing the world cars. Killing. You understand? You understand? Yeah, wow, correct. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, this way. Follow me. Um, yeah, child. Ah, uh, yes, everything, everything. Yeah. Man, I hope you guys are gonna turn up. Yeah, the wedding is what's yeah, into it. Into it, into it. <laughs> No, no, that's a kind of way. You know, this, this, this Africa has a way with our own way. Right? Yeah, come, 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 come. Come, come, come. You see this place? Like, like. Okay! So follow me. You see this place? Now what is this place called? Huh? I said what thing did they call this place? Yeah. Garden. No? Is there anything? It's called a garden. See, you see garden egg for ya? No? You see garden egg for ya? See, make I tell me. This place is called Peel. It's called Peel. Peel. Not be football field though. Na oga, zamadam Peel. Understand? Yo wa, yo wa. At the end of the month, na me go bring a machine. Give me. You go use them. Clean everywhere. You go do. You understand? You understand. You are correct. You know, say me I'm a tough person. I am a tough person. Thank you very well. Good boys. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Are you alright? Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. Mom. Yeah. Why would that do a thing like that? Reducing his own daughter to a common maid in her own father's house. Sweetheart, we should even be happy that he allowed her into this house. You know who your father is? Then you should have just let the forgiveness be whole. <laughs> Did I hear you say forgiveness? As far as your father, General Denison Okiri, retired, is concerned, 
There's absolutely nothing like forgiveness in his dictionary. So you better wake up. But even I allowed her into this house was because of my health. I had to ally with the doctor to make him do that. What? Yes. Dad is really taking this to the extreme. Mom, for goodness sake, eight years, as in eight solid years of rejection is enough punishment. I think I will just have to talk to him. Hey, hey, hey. Lizzie, please. I can't afford to have this wedding cancelled. Wake up from your dream, girl. You know how impossible it is for your father to change his mind. Please, for the sake of your forthcoming wedding, do not even attempt a thing like that. Your father, retired general, Daniel St. Okiri, is difficult. Hi, Benny. You and I know that Dad doesn't intend treating you this way. But for the irremediable military blood in him, come to think of it, do you mean you haven't set eyes on this guy till now? Or is it denying his responsibility? I can't even recognize him when I see him. <sighs> Never known him. I only met him at a party. How is that even possible? That you can't recognize the man who got you pregnant? Or do you even know his name? I know the calling from what popularly called them at a party. Don, Don. That must be his nickname. What about his, his name? As in his real name? His real name. Don. Don. What are you doing with that maid? Good, good, good money, Dad. Did I not want you to stay clear of her? Did I not? Uh, 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 Shut up! Shut up your mouth! All you owe her in this house is order. Order! Order her! Order and order! Nothing more than order! What did I say? Order! She is your maid. Is that clear? Good. But, but that she's still my... One more word from you. Now we have you sent to the guard room and blazoned and frog jumped. Nonsense. If you find any of you having anything to do with her, anything to do with her, I'm going to send her parking. Is that clear? Yes, is that, yes. Now get out. Get out, out! Go on, move! Run! That's better. Hey, stay there. I gave you the best upbringing as a father. 
that you chose. You chose to smear my rank in the mud. I will never forgive you. I will never ever forgive you unless you bring whoever whoever is the father of that bastard and introduce him to me as your husband to be. Do you understand? So why did you take that risk? Why? I thought your father warned you. He warned you to stay clear. To stay clear completely. I'm sorry, baby. I couldn't help it. No, she's my own sister. You couldn't help it. I have stayed in this house just for a few days. But I can predict your father. Your father is a no-nonsense man. A man of his words. So you cannot tell me that you love your sister more than your parents. They give back to her. If they can stay clear, then you should do the same. Sorry, baby. I'll, I'll try not to get too close next time. Good. So, so that you just have to try, okay? Just try and stay clear. And let's get our wedding done. Get everything perfectly well. And then we return to the States. Come back in one piece. Alright? You promise not to do that anymore. Thanks, baby, for the care. You know, I love you so much. Oh. I love you too. That is how much one means to each other. Right? I love you too. Benita. Benita, I, I, I am sorry. You are sorry? Sorry about what? I, I am sorry for everything. What are you talking about?
is he? And why did they kneel down before you? I'm talking to you now. I come on to the canal, and they kill him now. I'm asking you now. There's this um, man that was with you people in Somalia for the peacekeeping stuff. I don't know. Forgotten his name. That's Mimika Sa. M I M I K. Mimika Sa. T S A V. Sa. T S A V. Okay, thanks. Hi, Mom. Hi, Good evening. And how are you doing now? I'm great, thanks. This one? I don't know why idle civilians will give military disobedience to simple medical instructions. She will get better. Of course, I will. If you base her doctor. So, where are both of you off, off to? Um, Dad, we're going for a photo session. And after that, um, we will see the girls elected for the bridal train. I see. All right. The driver will take you. Try you do whatever you want, but ensure that you come back in time. Right? Come on. Off you go. Bye, bye darling. Oh, yeah, bye. Off you go. Right. 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 Off you go. Retire. Go on. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Good day, Uncle. Good day. How are you? Hi. Uncle, can I ask you for a favor? Oh, yeah, go ahead. I like the way you and Lizzie used to be to each other. My mom said I don't have a daddy. Uncle, please don't be offended. Please, can you bring one of your friends to always play with my mommy? Like the way you and Lizzie used to play with each other, so she can be happy. Okay, sweetie. Don't worry. God will provide a friend for your mommy like my husband, okay? Tony, you see, with God, all things are possible. And definitely God is going to bring a man that will bring happiness to your mother. Thank you for your kindness, Auntie. Um, Jenny. Um, Jenny, did your mommy tell you you don't have a daddy? My mommy said my daddy stays very far away. She promised me that I'll see him one day. You're going to see your daddy someday. You're definitely going to see him someday, okay? Eh? okay? God is going to make it possible for you. All right, give me that. Ten. Ten. Okay. Take it. All right, come on, two. Come ten. on, two. No, ten, and you. Oh, God. Bye. Bye.
Just wondering, I are you giving any thought to what we're going to present to our daughter and her husband on their wedding day? Oh, um, not really. A lot of things are going on in my mind, but I'm I'm yet to settle for mm. mm. I want something wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want something that's going to rake up the envy of that our wayward daughter and make her go frantically in search of that animal that got her pregnant. The animal that got her pregnant. Well, in that case, how about a house and a car? Mm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. But uh, I want something they, that they will have to take back with them to America after the wedding. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. As a matter of fact, I have started processing their travel documents on, mm. for a two-week honeymoon to Hong Kong. Hmm. Netherlands hmm? and uh, Disneyland. Wow! <laughs> Honey, that, that's a great one. Mm. Just give me time. Let me think of something, okay? Hmm? Rack your hmm. brain. Rack your brain. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. All right. Fall out. Okay. Yes, sir. Yezum. What? Yezum. Yezum. And then next time you do it with your right hand, not with, not with the left. Okay. Yes, yeah, Better. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs> yeah.
Don, I don't know how to go about this. What if what I am suspecting eventually turns out to be true? And uh, if what you are suspecting is true, that means there's a problem here. By the way, I thought you came with Lizzie. Where is she? Um, yes, I did. We came together. She's at a seamstress shop, you know, taking measurement for the bridal train. Done. We are talking about the family of a brutal general. Retired. But not tired of doing the worst. That is what you are thinking or what we are thinking is true. And that is why I'm asking you to get this job done for me. That is why I want you done. I want you to do this job for me. Don, what job are you talking about? Help me find out if that little girl is truly my child. That's the job I want you to do. That's what I want you to do for me as a friend. Is anything the matter? Are you okay? Oh yeah. Um, oh. What are you doing here? My parents are not home. What of the security man? He has gone to get the zeal. You should have called before coming. Actually, uh, it, it's you I came to see. Me? I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to anyone. Please. No. Look. Look, Benita. Honestly, just, I meant well for you. Just allow me to explain the reason why I'm here. I have never loved anyone the way I loved you. It's been my biggest aspiration to marry from this family. Please, I beg of you, please. Yeah, um, what's, what's happened? Oh, sir, I, I had a little problem with the car from under. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, sorry about that. Why don't you use the mechanic? Oh, uh, I will do that as soon as I leave here. Open the gate! <coughs> to take good care of me. Of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Of course. <laughs> What's this? Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, um, just a piece of paper um, that was used in um, protect the inner layer of the shoe. Okay, give me that. Let me trash it for you. Huh? Let me trash it for you. Okay. How long I wore this? This shoe. You have a package. A package? Yes. From who? The postman just brought it now. Drop it on the table. Okay. Ma. 
Yes. I want to ask you something. Please don't be offended. Okay, what is it? Are you my grandmother? Lizzie and Donald will be getting married in a few days' time. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> you are Donald? Uh, yes, I am Donald. Her name is Benita. She's my sister, as well as your sister-in-law. And this is our adorable little beautiful daughter, Jenny. This wedding is going to be the most glamorous wedding ever. Oh yeah? Trust your father. <laughs> He's going to break his treasure box to make sure that this wedding is <clears throat> unique. <laughs> well, that has always been his heart's desire for his children. Mm-hmm. And then pray and make that come to reality in my own part someday. Oh. I am you having your wedding with my daddy. Very soon, sweetie. And on that day, you're going to be one of the bride of train. Yes. Dressed so beautifully and gorgeously. Wouldn't you, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> See, Benny, I know how you feel. I totally understand your pain. You know, all this is really getting out of control. But why don't you just arrange with some guy out there, just any guy to settle down with, instead of going through this torture every single day? I can help you arrange for one if you don't mind. I don't want any other man. I want Jenny's father. And I know I will look at him someday. And you keep going through this pain every day? Like every time? Is that what you want for yourself? I have waited for the past eight years. I may not have to wait for one more month to look at him. Wow. You seem so confident. I wish you the best, sister. And I hope when you eventually set eyes on this mysterious man, he won't delay your marriage. I know I will find him. And when I find him, I will marry him, even if he's engaged to someone else. Yes, good one. 
I support you on this one. And you always have my back, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so Sorry. I was moved by the heart of your mother. I, I forgot the consequence of my actions. Please forgive me. I need to be left alone now. Please. It, it won't happen again, I promise. I, I won't be moved by such dangerous sympathy again. Please. Please help me. It's too late. Nothing, girl, must leave my house now. Will you please, please, Honey, please, I, I beg you. It was all my fault. I forced her to dine with me. I did. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It was because of your health condition that I limited the number of children to two. It was because they are girls that I decided to raise them equal to men. I gave them all and more than they ever wanted. Put them in the best of schools. I gave them all. More than what they want. I gave them all. I retired from the army. Before my time. In order to give them uninterrupted father's attention. I committed both wealth and time to build a formidable garrison around their dreams and aspirations. But in the end, my giant and elephant sacrifice was given squirrel Ovation by that idiot. The pride of one General Okri was smeared in the mud of shame. Stay here and ask for my forgiveness. I will forgive only at the bottom of my six feet grave. Leave my presence now. Donatus, please help me out of this. Please just make this work for me. Don, I mean, I have not had rest. I have not had rest, especially after getting that, that note from her. Tom, don't you think I'm risking my job as a family physician by getting myself involved into this? What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Huh? We've done more, more dangerous things than this. What is this? We've done so many things, we've done dangerous things more than this. Just help me get this one done, that's it. Donald. There is nothing more dangerous of facing the wrath of General Denison Okiri himself. 
Look, this is a man who has conquered the high and mighty in the society. A man who could even disown his own daughter for years and still remaining clinching to that decision. All I'm asking is for you to be a mediator. Okay? Be a mediator between me and Benita. That's it. Before I stick my head out. That's all I'm saying. Come on, what are friends for? My good friend Donatus, help me get this one done. Okay? No. Just, just, just find out no. if truly that child is mine. Okay. Okay, okay. How are you? Fine. Thank you, man. Cheers. It is high time I approached him instead of dying in silence. For how long will I continue like this? I am very sure he is the one. But why has he refused to talk to me or even share my pain? How can men be this wicked? For how long will I continue dying in silence? No, I have to approach him before it becomes too late. Mom, why are you not eating? I am not famished. Why? My daughter. I'll eat later. Have I not warned you to stay clear of my family? What gave you the animal boldness to stand before my reputable son-in-law? Useless whore. Are you out of your mind? Sir, I, I, actually, she brought my, my missing phone to me. Oh, yes. You lost your phone? Yes, yes, sir. And um, she found it under the car and um, brought it back to me. I see. That's it. That's all. And what are you still standing there waiting? What are you waiting for? Useless thief. What are you still doing here? I'm sorry, sir. Thank you very much, sir. She's actually the one that's supposed to be sorry for herself. Yes, she is. Until I get the animal that impregnated my daughter. Impregnated the daughter of General Danielson Okiri. And get him quartered. Get him slashed. Dragooned. Torn apart. Court martialed. Given bunny bunny. She remains an outcast. Okay, sir. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Sit down. 
Sit down. That's good. Yes. Man needs a true love. No, Every woman needs a man that can value her more than life itself. Every woman needs peace of mind and security. Look, I am here to tell you that you are, you are the luckiest woman the world has ever seen. I love you beyond words. I love you more than you love yourself. Look, darling, a little space in your heart will mean the whole world to me. Please bless my soul, and I'll forever make you my goddess. Oh, shut up. Are you blind? Don't you know the truth? The only truth I know is that you are my bread. Without you, I'm, I am just as dead as grave. Making you my wife is the only thing that can resurrect my soul from the grave and pains I have suffered all these years. Please, bless my life. Don't you dare kneel down there to pretend like you don't know the secret. You men are heartless. Yeah. Oh, you're Baju. Baju also. <laughs> yeah. So are you still coming with your wife? Or she went to Cameroon? Or she's coming back with her? Okay, stop. You heard me right. I don't understand. What don't you understand? The meaning or spelling of secrets. I still do not understand. Go ask your friend. He knows my sister's secrets. If you are his best friend, then you must know his best kept secrets. You find out every child is true, my child. No, 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 no. I never wanted to get myself involved into this. At the first place, but you pushed me to it. Do you know how precious this family is to me? Do you, do, 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 do you know what I'm about to lose here? What are you about to lose? Huh? Come on, man, don't talk about sack because nobody's going to sack you. Okay? I already talked to Lizzie and she's not going to say anything. And she might sue me here anytime soon. She's not going to say anything. And no other year should hear this. Alright? I probably have her own secrets as well. What secret are you talking about? She's four months gone. Look, 
The general must not hear this. And that is why we're rushing this wedding. I fear that man. I see him as a devil himself. So all I wanted to do is to rush up and find out if that girl is truly my child. That's what I want to know. I, I, I don't understand. Are you planning on getting married to two sisters? Well, I, I, I don't care. I just don't want to go back to that idiot. You know, this is the way she insulted me all just because of you. Look, over my dead body, will I go back to her? I, I know. Let, let's just go back, okay? But you can just smile. Smile. I mean, smile. <laughs> Here, let's go. Smile. The very thought of you this morning brought tears to my eyes. I will never forgive you for the shame you brought to my home. Since you have chosen not to speak by democracy, I will have you speak by the whip of aristocracy. When you are truly tired, you will tell me the father of that bastard. You have only done one hour and you're tired. Do you know how many months I spent at the Battle of Somalia dodging bullets, bombs, and grenades just to earn the rank of a Lieutenant Colonel? Do you know how many years of constant battle with rebels it took me to surmount the civil war in Rwanda? just to earn the rank of a brigadier general. Do you know how long I commanded the multinational battalion across the desert to conquer the massacre in Liberia? I paid dearly for the rank you've chosen to smear in the mud of shame for eight years for eight years you've carried the burden of a bastard and the cross of a useless man yet you're not tired of hiding the truth about the animal that got you pregnant it is too late for mercy my dear victim. Sanusi, go on. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, go ahead, Oga. Oh, yeah, continue. Pull up, jump, pull up, jump, pull up, jump. Pull up, jump. Move it. Yell for mercy. Hey! <laughs> 
more bunny bunny. for forgiveness. Dad, I'm very sure that she's regretting her mistake by now. Please, Daddy, have mercy. It's too late to bend my discipline. The only atonement for the tears of a soldier is blood. But Dad, she is your flesh and blood. Your own biological daughter. Dad, she still has your blood flowing through her veins. Daddy, please. I was already a general before I had both of you. If truly she is my daughter, then she is a soldier by birth. Soldiers are given to court martial. Whenever they break military discipline, military rule has its capital mutiny. But daddy, this is a social matter and not the barracks. I am a general. And the house of a general is like a social barracks. Now enough, enough of all this. I'm fast running out of patience. Come on, leave me, move.
did I do wrong that you're not telling me? Why are you hurting me this much? You're not picking my calls or returning them either. Like you used to do. What did I do? Please tell me. Look, Abigail, I, I want to be left alone. Baby, we used to do everything together. And I cherish it so much. What is the problem? Abigail, I said I want to be left alone. Maybe you can't just end a relationship of five years just like that. Remember we've been the envy of all. Maybe what would the world say? Please, I'm sorry. Don't. I can't take care of myself. No. Please. Please, Please baby, don't. Please don't. <laughs> Agreed on some. No, no the, uh, um, th this is a different case. I am not asking you to go and plead on my behalf. It's I, I, I wanted you to bring the drugs for a treatment. After the punishment she got from uh, 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 um, the general, I just wanted you to help treat her. No, that is it. That is exactly my problem here. I don't want to come close to that girl. Look, I stand the risk of losing my job and facing the general's wrath. But I'm just begging you just to do this for the last time. For just this, this last time. Eh? Just do it for me for all time's sake. Don't please. Okay, okay, okay. Look, Dona. Why don't you just go out there? Buy this drug yourself. Then give it to her yourself. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. She has wanted me to stay away from her. That should stay clear. I shouldn't come close. She threatened me in letters. Also threatened to stab me if I come close to her again. Why don't you just forget about this girl and move on with your marriage, which is coming in less than six days from now? I think you're right. I think you have a point there. Since she has refused to talk anything about it or to say anything about it, I think I should just let her be and face what I'm meant to face. Exactly. Action. You just have to remain like this. Let her go to hell. Let her do whatever she wants to do. Exactly. What? Huh? I've been begging her, trying to talk to her. Who is she? Does she want something to follow me? I am sorry for the torture yesterday. I have brought this drug for you. Please permit me to treat you. Thank you. 
I don't want your treatment. I know you don't want me to treat you, but you need it. Someone has been sending you to me. Oh, is that not? No, 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 no. True love has sent me to you. Powerful feelings that I cannot resist has sent me to you. Look, I, I have never loved a woman like this before. The thought of you brightens my day. Your face has dominated the stars of the night. Even when I close my eyes, you flow into me like the fresh breath of life. Please, allow me to be your love doctor. What are you doing here? I said, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? I am massaging my body. Oh, massaging. <laughs> you know, say me now, but that person. I said, but that person. Why well, are sorry? <laughs> Five point babies. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on from here. I said, get out of here. Move. Have you make I move me? Eight years of hiding landed you in my house. And your eight years of running has landed you in my head. You can see the horrible condition your one minute Sedra Orge has kept me for the past eight years. Benny, can you just Don't calm tell down? me to calm down. Please just calm down. And now you're here to so you wild out with my to examine that dream because I will not let it come to pass. Just calm down, Alex. Don't tell me. Shh, calm please. down. Please, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything, everything that you need to know. I promise to tell you. I cross my heart. It's a promise. I will keep. Really? Yes. Now go on, explain. I'm listening. What do you have to say? I promise. I promise I can handle this situation. Okay? I want you to believe me. I can handle it. Please. Believe me, I can do it. Right? This is a family that I love so much. And, and I will do everything, everything possible to uphold the, the, the unity of this house. Good sermon. But that won't change my stand. The deed has already been done. And you must finish it. There is only one way out. That is exactly what I am saying. That's exactly what I want you to understand. And I am going to make sure that I see to the end of your suffering. It's a promise.
Oh yeah, stand there. Stand. See, have you been sleeping in the compound? No, sir. Why are you sleeping? Huh? Why are you sleeping in the barrack? I slept late last night. Look at it, I'm go. Look at I, I slept late last night. I slept. See, make I tell me. Kingane, this place is a barrack. I understand? So no sleeping is allowed. No sleeping is allowed in the barrack. You understand? You understand? Well, I continue sweeping. Continue sweeping, Akache. Yes. Yes, sir. Continue sweeping. Check your way. Laziness. Lazy bamboo. Okay, sweep now. Okay, I'll sweep. Come out. Well, sweep this side. Well, look at Sweep. Sweep, Akache. So four people. <laughs> Maybe for the past two weeks. Two weeks now, my whole world is crumbling before my own eyes. <laughs> Babe, <sighs> check very well. Are you sure you've not done anything suspicious that he may have found out? I can't remember. Donatus is the only man I, I know is responsible and different from other men. He is loving, caring. I can't even go a day without checking on you. And that is how we have been for the past five years. Of course, everybody knows that. But what I don't understand is waking up one morning and change his mind. Think very well. Think. Think deep. It, it, it will help you out. I think I remembered something. It was only a mistake. Waste no time to confess to him. It may solve the whole problem. I'm tired of seeing you sharing tears every day. Hotel for rooms reservation. That poor girl is suffering from what she knows nothing about. Focus our attention on our daughter Benita. How about that? See it. I said it. I said I never wanted that girl here in the first place. Honey, can you be honest to me? Are you glad about that girl's condition? That is certainly not the best way to correct the mistakes that we made already. All right. So let's have it this way. 
both of them stay out they leave this house and they stay out until she provides the man who got her pregnant how about that how about that whatever what did you just say what did i just hear you say oh that's better insurrection and mutiny in the army must be put down and dealt with decisively whatsoever Knock off my bones before you little idiots open the gate. Auntie, I'm sorry. My mommy is washing at the backyard. Uncle Sanusi is, is helping the electricians to wire the water home. And what do I care about what your stupid mother and Sanusi are doing? Huh? What do I care? Auntie, I'm sorry. Sorry for your little self. Auntie, see your earring. And what are you supposed to do? Come and pick it up! Okay. Like your mother can afford it. Nonsense. Give it for your effect. She finally spoke to you after all the threats. Did you find out if the child is yours? Yes. The child is mine. I met um, I met Benita at um, a birthday party, and I did all I could, all I could to make her my friend. And at last we became friends. She has never taken alcohol before. She don't even taste it. But I had to make her take it. She was kind of tipsy and she asked me to take her to her hostel. Instead I took her to my room, my house. And behold, she was a virgin. I took advantage of, of her and um, she ran out of my house. And I never get to see her again. Before I left for the States, I did all I could and I prayed to God to see her for just one more time. But I never did. Not until now. <laughs> I saw her again. And this time she, she has a child, my own child. So tell me the matters. What do I do? And I am getting married to her sister. And look at She already has a beautiful child for me. I love Benita so much. Seeing her again has rekindled my love for her. I so much love her. This is serious. Then uh, you must cancel the wedding before it's too late. Liz is already four months gone. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, Donald, I, I don't know how to advise you in this situation now. I love her. I love her so much. I truly love Benita. Not just her. She now has a beautiful daughter for me. I still love her. I love her more than 
any other woman in this world. Come to find out nothing but the truth from you. What truth, mother? About your daughter. I want to know who that girl's real father is. I want nothing but the truth now. He's getting married in two weeks' time. Why is he not getting married to you? After you have a child for him. contact. How come you know about his forthcoming wedding? I, I only got to know a few days when I got into the city. He still loves me. But I don't want to interrupt his wedding. Don't be stupid. Whether it feels good or not, you must stop that wedding immediately. Yes. You have a child for him. I want to know who that idiot is. That wedding must not hold. Don must be joking. How can he be talking of loving Benita when he's waiting to lose his just few days to go? I want that girl. I just can't watch him take both sisters to himself. I must be fast to expose the secrets I have been keeping from everyone. But how do I tell him of my love for Benita? How do I even stand before General Dennison to make this confection? where it belongs. Baby, please, I have a confession to make. Look, 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 Abigail. You can see I left my office to this place. I just want to be left alone. I'm sorry I've not told you this. What? Letting with someone online. Please, 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 please. This is not what I want to hear now. Please just leave. Baby, please, I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, my dear. There's something I'd like to understand. Go right on. Um, I guess we start coming in from tomorrow. Don't you think it would be quite embarrassing to have them see your own daughter walking as a maid in her father's house? 
Well, they're not coming here, right? I already have ample hotel reservations for them at Megados. Why don't you go outside and found pardon? At least for the period of the wedding. To avoid creating any wrong impression on Donald's family. The only impression a military general is known for is discipline. Why don't you do this for me as a special wedding gift? I already have your special wedding gift prepared and aligned. It's too late. Meanwhile, the drinks I ordered from the Netherlands have arrived. You go and pick them up. Donald has taken care of that already. Good. Thank you for being a disciplined daughter. You may go. Okay, Dad, but Dad, please think about what I told you, please. Leave me. She must have bought that pregnancy. Are you trying to play a fast one on me? No, how, how can I? How can I play a fast one to the woman I love? I have prayed for so many years to see you once again, and now you're here. Benny, you won't understand. You don't understand. I love you. I love you with all my heart, and I'll do anything and everything to prove that to you. See that, that night, you, you remember that night, that, that night I took your virginity away from you, that same night, you equally took my heart away from me. Enough, enough, don't go there, don't you dare go there, listen, all I am saying is that you cannot marry my blood sister. I already have a child for you. She must get rid of that pregnancy before it becomes too late. And I am working on it. And I hope you are still working on making sure that wedding does not hold. I'm still working on that as well. Okay. Trust me still. I, I 
can't do anything for your love. I, I, I love you. I truly love you and I'll do anything and everything to make you happy. Necessarily have to paint the whole place. We need to do that, you know. Everything has to be bright and beautiful. Okay. For the wedding. But Lizzie said she already had uh, an event decorator that will make the place beautiful. And that. I see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Come back. What did you just say? What did you just call me? God. I'm sorry, Dad. Ah, God damn it! You don't use that word on me again. I don't want to hear it. Is that clear? Is that clear? Do I make myself clear? Now, look at it. Look at what you just did. You walked on this lawn. Do you know what this lawn is? You know what this is? This is a lawn. It is called what? A lawn. A lawn. It costs money. It takes money to keep it the way it is. You don't pass, you don't walk on it. You pass through here. But now you are you are using your dirty, slimy leg, dirty, dirty millipede legs on my lawn. You don't do that. It does that leg. You know, you know what? You shameless idiot. It, listen, listen. All you brought to me is shame. Shame, that's what you brought. Every time I look at you, you know what I see? You know what I see? Oh, I see an animal, I see a cow, I look at you, I see a dog. That's what I see, okay? Shameless rat, that your sister, your younger sister, is having her wedding in a few days' time, and that's a thing of joy. I'm happy, we're all happy. In fact, even people outside here are happy. Yes, that's a thing of pride. Now, but what do you bring to the table? What are you bringing home to me? All you're presenting to me is what? Bastard. A slimy bastard. That's what you're coming home with. And you're here calling me that. Don't, don't ever do that. Is that clear? Um, honey, she told me that the so-called man will be having his wedding in a few days' time. That he still loves her. That's what she told me. So, you believe the pack of lies, the heap of lies coming from, from this shameless brat. What do you expect? Now, didn't she tell us that she didn't know the whereabouts of the man? Didn't she do that? Yeah? I have found him. What? What did you just say? I have found him. You found the idiot. You found him. Now listen, that wedding will not hold, okay? You go get prepared and take me immediately to that man without any further delay. Is that clear? Is that clear? Move, run, come on! Honey, we are not done with it. Now listen, what are you not done with? What I'm not done with you. Did you hear what I said? Do you know what this means? A general, you don't call a general back when he already has his mind, his attention fixated on a military strategy. You don't do that, okay? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Do I need to repeat myself? No, no, sir. You don't do it, okay? Military strategy, once he moves, he moves. Don't call me back again. Now go, 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 come on, move. 
What did you just say? I need a powerful abortion pill. What for? I want to get rid of Lizzie's pregnancy immediately. Like right now. Why? Because I want to go for the woman I truly love. Donald. I thought you said the pregnancy is five months old. So it will be dangerous to risk an abortion here. And it will be more dangerous for her to give birth to that child. Is, is that your final decision? That's my final decision. Doctor Donatus. And so far, everything is set for the wedding. Okay. Um, but the, for the media company, they demanded 100% pay on or before the wedding day. I thought my fiancé already took care of that. Yes, ma, but he paid them um, 70% upfront fee. Oh, really? Yeah. Um... Oh, right on time. He's back. Don't worry, before you leave, you get a check for that, okay? Okay. Uh, manager, I go for it set for my wedding. Yes, sir. Good day. All is certainly well, sir. Okay. I'm honey. She will be needing the balance. Oh, okay, yes. Um, the manager called me. So I'll give you a leave that you give to him, okay? Oh my god! 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 He's shaking, he's shaking, my man! Let me shake him! Shut up! 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 when you made the confession. He said that is not what he wants to hear. <laughs> but is that not the only thing you have done wrong? That is the only one he's likely to know. No. No. A good man like Donatus appreciates it when his woman tells him the bitter truth. If there is any other thing you're keeping away from him, apart from the ones you've told him, please go back to him and confess. What are you doing here? Darling, you, you are my sunshine. Okay. You are my biggest dream. Go tell your father that I am the father of your child. I am ready to go through lake of fire all just to make you my wife. Please, Ben, I love you. It's already too late. I have found the biological father of my daughter. What you are about to do is murder. Please, my heart is fading away. Please, I love you, Ben. I love you. Can you hear yourself talk? Tell me, what shall it profit me 
after waiting for eight years for the biological father of my daughter, only to dump it for his best friend? No, no. He is getting married to your sister in a few days' time. And your sister is five months pregnant. Please, save that for the beds. Tell me to calm down. Is it hot? Please. No. Please, please. I know it's painful. It's easy. Confess. Yeah, baby, I'll confess. Baby, I'll confess. Baby. Okay, I will confess. Yes, I will confess. I have I have two plots of land in this town. I have a house that I rented out to tenants. My director bought me an SUV because he's been asking me out for the past two years. But I sold the car and deposited the money in, my, in a private account that you don't know of. <laughs> Baby, I'm not trying to make it a secret, okay? I'm only waiting for our wedding night to tell you everything as a surprise. <laughs> I love you so much. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. to mob. Can I mob? Oh, why not? Sure. Okay. And how is your husband doing this morning? As you can see, he's okay. He's fine. Is he able to stand now? Not yet. But I hope he does that soon. 
Thanks. Well, anyways, I am on my way to the mall and get her to the clinic to get him some things. I'm going back. Okay. All right. See ya. As I told you. Yes, I did. You did? I hope you drank from it. Um, yes, I made her drink everything. Everything. Okay. And I believe we're close. So, what next? This. Mm. What is happening to Agas family? Eh? Just two days, two days Akache to the prestigious wedding. The suito break the leg. Ogas daughter Kuma collapse. Just like that. Ah, ah, well, I, this is now confusion. Well, I, something is wrong. A world general spa. Ah, this is now confusion. Well, I. No. Something is wrong somewhere. Yes, something is wrong somewhere. Yeah. La. Hey. Uncle, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Uncle, Uncle Sanusi, please, where is my mommy? Your mommy? Yes. Ah, I guess yeah, that is not the important question. You see, this is your question. It's not important at all. The relevant question is, where is your daddy? My, my mommy said my daddy is coming soon. Your daddy is coming soon? Yes. Correct. You see, now you are talking. Uh, your, your mommy ko, is also coming soon. But for your daddy, ah, ah, your name is Nasori. Your name is Nasori, oh, lie. <laughs> ah. Come on for you! No? Do very far. La ila. I said, come out. You know they hear me? I go slapping me over life.
why me? General Danielson O'Kiri retired. Did you just listen to yourself? You said retired. Isn't it time you kept your military rank at bay? Isn't it? It's causing a lot of confusion in the house. Woman, get off my military repertoire. It is sent a rank to you. Let me see the doctor now. Come on. Okay, sir. All right. Right away. So how did it go? Perfect. The doctor confirmed that she has lost the pregnancy. Good. So one hurdle crossed. What next? The wedding. Yes. The wedding has to be cancelled. That one. I mean, who's going to talk about a wedding? And that's my condition. The wedding is cancelled and forgotten. Okay. If you say so. Yeah. I'm afraid. Oh, what? I'm afraid. I, she might find out that you are the one that did it. I always know what to tell her. Hmm. I know how to go about the whole thing. For real? Yeah. Okay. Go on. Tell me about it. I'm listening. I am going to tell you that after the shame break. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's almost uh, four days to our daughter's wedding. Meanwhile, Donald is yet to be on his feet. This is getting me worried. Honey, I'm even more worried myself. How will this wedding hold him with him in that condition? What will I guess say? Her first daughter is a baby mama to an unknown man. And her second daughter is getting married to a man that is almost a cripple. I'm in the most confused state now. Wedding is the last thing on the mind of someone with such pains. So, uh, are you suggesting the wedding should be cancelled? What else are all these things pointing to? Postponement. Within two days' time, his condition persists. You have no option but to postpone the wedding. I am going to help you. That's on condition that you tell me the truth. You say the man that got you pregnant is getting married soon. Yes, sir. In a few days' time, sir. How do you know he still loves you? Proposed to the woman he wants to marry because we both lost contact for a very long time. And when I saw him some few days back, he offered to cancel the wedding. But I refused. What manner of rubbish is this? Is he still willing to cancel the wedding? Yes, sir. He called me this morning and was begging me to consider his hand in marriage. Good. Good. Now listen, you will call him now in our presence. Hmm. Ask him to go ahead with the cancellation of the wedding. That you are still interested. Do I make myself clear? Do I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, sir, the, the bride to be is a woman like me. 
Can you tell me you already have a child for this man? So that answers the question. Here, take it. Call me. Take it. Dial the number. I'm sure you know it off head. get to find out she took abortion pills. Look, Donald, I am the private doctor to this family and I owe that family nothing but the truth. Donatus, I thought we are in this together. Oh yes, we used to be until you started up the competition. Competition? What competition are you talking about? What competition? Donald, Benita is the only woman I have ever loved all my life. So it is either her or nobody else. Turn out. Sanusi! Sanusi! Where's everybody? Where's Stone out? Sanusi, are you deaf? Am I speaking to stones? Where are my parents? Sanusi. Where is he? He. Uh, who? Where's Donna? He's Your fiancé. He's the one I'm looking for. He disappeared from the house and we thought he came to visit you at the hospital. Only for us to get there and we didn't see both of you. Have you searched in his room whether he is back? I've searched virtually everywhere, but he's nowhere to be found. must have happened somewhere. I know why he's running. He drugged me so as to abort my pregnancy. He was afraid of your rot, Dad. What sort of a heartless general are you? A general that is supposed to be a protection to his own family? But yours is a cause to us, Dad. Why? Why, Dad? Why?
one more word from you. Camp in hell. Please, please hold on. Speak. Just a word. You'll be dead. Abigail, are you okay? Abigail! Abigail, how are you? Huh. You know what I've been thinking? Have you tried finding out if he has another woman in his life? Donatus is not a womanizer. So that is not the problem. Every man is subject to change. I have tried him several in the past with the most beautiful girls in the world. But guess what? He did not fall. So that is not the problem. Then, maybe he set a trap for you, which you failed. If not, why will he change so much? But I've confessed virtually everything I did wrong. But he keeps saying that is not what he wants to hear. Think. Think deep. There must be something. You can't lose a relationship of five years because of one stupid secret. You said you're presenting the man that got you pregnant to us tomorrow. Is he still holding? Yes, sir. Is he coming to take his baby or he's coming to do the right thing? He's coming to seek for my hand in marriage, sir. Good. Good. You know what? Make tomorrow your day of victory. Is that right? Yes, sir. That correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Carry on. Clean. in life. Look, never you trust anyone, not even your own blood sister. <laughs> I 
Anyways, my father is to be blamed for all this. Look, darling, your father only made well for his family. Uh, Benny, how are you feeling? Doctor, hope my sister is responding to treatment. What do you expect? Benny is bringing her husband home today. Interesting. Have you seen him before? Benny, I'm here for the makeup. Shall we? Okay, I'll do that once the doctor leaves. No, we have to do it now. We don't have time, remember? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, baby, do you like this color? Um, let me see. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> do you like it? Oh, here you are, darling. Uh, I'm just coming from your room. I'm here. Yeah. 